everyone, and welcome, welcome to, to the Woman's King. King. I think we're being gracious today because honestly, I feel like I beat you. I just did you? The, I, I drew the A out a bit, so it's K. So it'd be like yeah. an echo. Wow. Wow. Okay, so I'm a little wow. jealous because like her wow. eyes look great today, but you can't see oh. it. They do. <laughs> Bamona. Never mind. I'm good. I'm Bamona. good. I'm back to being me. That is. That is real. Alsa, I have struggled for days because we told y'all about how um, the open air office is wonderful for creativity, but not so good when things break in your house, right? So you can hear some sounds. After I struggled for days trying to set up a decent set so we don't look like specters. Yeah, that's true. She did the lighting today. You so, know, the lighting is her obsession. I'm not going to lie. So like, I'll lighting. be like, beautiful set. And she's like, we look like little black dots. And I'm like, because we're little black people. I think that's what it is. I no, 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 no. It's not that at all. Back. Take it back. What are, you, what are you saying today? I have not the fantasy. Okay, you. you know what? We're just going to go to some literary life guides with pop poetry. Yeah, we wrote I just And they're literally. better than what I'm saying. They're better. Oh my goodness. Are they though? I don't know. I don't know. They have pop poetry. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. But anyway, so, top four. And I thought divorce was bad with other life lessons. And I thought being grown up was easy, both available on audible.com, barnesandnoble.com, and amazon.com. Uh, and I thought I did my journey alone. Oh, yeah. Those other two books, they, they had, like, their faces got redone. Like, they yes, did book they of it. Read That's you. exciting. Yes. And I thought I uh, did my journey alone, and if only I were me. And I thought, man, I did my journey alone will soon have a new have a cover. New cover. And if only I were me is only available at barnesandnobles.com. Right. But also, you know, wait, wait, I have to say it. I have to say it. Um, and if you guys are interested in getting some merchandise from us, we have uplifted that store too. We are getting things done in 2020. Oh Can I say this real quick, y'all? So I have, it's been my goal to do a little clothing line and we have our first bathing suit out. I'm about to sew by that. It's the hotness. Okay, so anyway, anyway, super excited for all of that. But um, you can find out everything your ladies are doing and the other podcast, The Ladies' Tales. Check that out while you're on there at www.andwethought.com. But y'all aren't here to hear you about us. You didn't do the sales pitchy thing, but that's all right. You're not here to hear about, about us. us. You're here to hear from my wonderful guests. Wonderful guests, would you like to introduce yourself? Well, hello, ladies. I just love y'all's banter back and forth. Y'all got me over here cracking up. You said the little black dots. I'm thinking about the light. And I got my ring light, so hopefully I'm looking all snazzy and everything for the ladies who are watching. But I'm Joy Sutton. I'm a communication strategist and a media coach. And really what I help women do is to shine. But I also have the Joy Sutton Show, which is launching on September 29th. So that's coming up, which I know we want to talk about and dive in today because I just believe women need inspiration, education, and application to go after their dreams. And that's what I'm designed to do to help them get there. Okay, see, so now you, you know what we did so mm -hmm, much better. Like, we did so much better. Inspiration, education, and application. You got to love it. You, you already know that she's a good media coach and communication person. I know. Like, she yes. told me basically the other day that she wanted to be over when she grew up. I don't know. Yes. I mean, you can't be over because only over can be over. But yes. You, like, right next door to open, you know? Like, you yeah. Know? You know, I had that time and I think, you know, being a young woman, seeing Oprah and all that she did, she was like my inspiration. And that's why I started out as a news journalist and kind of patterned my career after her. But then I started to realize, hold up, Oprah ain't got nothing on joy. You know, we all have our own gifts that we've been given. So now I'm just owning my own shine and kind of walking into that and not trying to replicate anybody else, but just bring the gifts that I've been given to the table. And I think that's comparison can sometimes be a stealer of gifts. And when we don't compare and we just own our own shine, I think that's when we excel and that's when we're great and we're fabulous. I want everyone to know that this lady here is yes. beyond amazing. Her yes. career Aww. is insanely good. <laughs> I mean, seriously, like Google And we it. actually were introduced to her ish at the beginning of our career, for a whole four years ago. Yeah, a whole four years ago. <laughs> Was that that long ago? Oh yeah. my gosh. Time yeah. goes by. I mean, you look up and you say, what happened? Where did it go? You got to <laughs> maximize the moment because it goes by in the blink of an eye. Oh, we've been doing that today, maximizing our moments. But anyway, so we, well, I'm going to ask you a bit about like, how did you find the chutzpah, I guess it is, <laughs> to do so much? Because, you know, oh. you were doing so much at a time where a lot of, 
African American females were not <laughs> allowed to do so much. So you have a lot. You have, you knocked down a few things and ran over a few obstacles. How did you find the hooks for to do that? You know, that is the thing that was the most challenging part because I want to be real with people. I went through a time where I shut down. After I launched, I had a television talk show for four seasons and I went through a time in my life where I did shut down because I was doing so much and I had kind of lost my direction and where I was going and where I wanted to be in my life. And then I just found the inspiration. I, it actually started with the prayer, if I'm just being honest. I'm like, what am I meant to give to the world? What is the gift and what do I want to give? And that kind of um, kind of question to myself and God kind of sparked this renewed like passion inside of me. And then I just decided I'm going to go for it. So I'm, you're right. I'm working a full-time job as a corporate communications director for a healthcare company. I just launched my She Shines Academy and coaching business to help women leverage the power of the media to own their shine. And now I have the podcast going on. So the only thing I don't have is a husband or the kids. So working that in there. So I can't imagine having to do all that. But I really think it comes from just that, that deep internal, like inside of you that just feels like you were meant to do more. And that keeps me going because sometimes it's a lot and it's hard to balance all of it. But when I go back through what do I really want to do and kind of tapping into that, it's huge. And I'll tell you ladies this, this has been really huge for me. I wake up in the mornings like with butterflies. You know how you feel when you meet a guy and you're like so excited and you're like, oh my God, I'm so excited. Is he going to call today? You know? You know, that kind of feeling, but I have the feeling the opposite with my dream. Like I literally wake up, like I'm falling in love with what I'm doing because I'm so excited to do it. So I would just encourage the ladies who are out there, find something that doesn't feel like work for you, that feels like you can just tap into it. And it's like, you wake up excited and you have those butterflies that you feel like when you're in love. And I'm in love with what I'm doing, which is great. I'm still waiting on the man though. I ain't. So if he's out there and he happens to be connected to one of the ladies, if it's your brother, your cousin, I'm available. I'm just saying that. <laughs> I love it. I, I love your energy. It's like the same energy we have, except we do the opposite. Instead of us waking up with butterflies, we stay awake with butterflies for our dreams. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I'm available. I'm single and available. I'm like, I'm single and not available. <laughs> hey, hey, but at least you, hey, at least you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it feels funny because, I mean, like, as, as we were talking yesterday, I was up to like, what, 2.30 in the morning. Which was to- rare for her. Yeah. I'm, I'm, Whoa. Why can you sleep? What was the reason? Were you just thinking oh, about all this? I was, re- I was working. I was redoing the store. I was redoing, I was redoing everything that I, I could do. And, mm-hmm. um, and I've been just working on that. And that has been my goal since we're in, um, why quarantine, not in quarantine, but we know kind of in lockdown, right? Pandemic mm-hmm. going world. It's like, let's focus way in on the things that you can accomplish while you're in your house. So yeah. when, when you're oh my God, being in the house has been an amazing thing. Because my yeah. mom goes, okay, I need you to get outside the house, Joy. You're, you're like always working. But it brings me joy, you know? Yeah. And it's, it's a crazy, but some people think like you have to leave your house and stuff like that. But for me, I found just doing what I love. Like, I'm not lonely. I know people say, oh my God, I'm sitting in this house. I haven't gotten to socialize as much. But I have connected with my friends. I'm doing my business. So I just feel like all of that just yeah. comes together. You know, you're and like, I can wear my PJs. I can right, wear my PJs at the bottom. Can, and can we you get don't ever have that? to get dressed, right? So you, you're like, hey, yes. I don't want to dress. Oh my gosh. I can do Y'all this don't want to know what I have um, below this. Y'all can't see my whole outfit, but anyway. <laughs> I ain't going to show everything, but I do have my comfy sweatpants <laughs> on. And I'm, who, doesn't, doesn't, who doesn't have on their nice know. slippers? Well, I'm, I'm not going to lie. The I, slippers. I said slippers. Slippers, that's true. I have on a full floor length formal gown. Yes, you um, does. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's Winona every day, all day. But yeah, and sure. I have been using we have been using this time to just focus in and get those odds and ends that you never had time to do because you were busy socializing, busy driving back and forth or traveling for us, like back and forth oh for goodness. work. That you didn't have the time, but now you have the time. It says so, she has the time. What does she do with her time? I babe? was about to ask. I was about to ask. Oh, <laughs> yes. I was so, you know, like I said, working on the business the podcast is coming out. So I'm interviewing amazing women. Um, You know, the podcast is helping women who have turned their passion into like a profit or a product or a purpose. And then, so I've been interviewing and then I've also been working on my She Shines Academy and coaching women. So 
I'm busy all the time. And I started my online dating profile. So I, I am doing that too. So just a variety. Oh There's a lot of people that have been doing this. A lot of you never know. I mean, my it's a lot. Our assistant started doing it. I was upset. I, was I, like, I looked at her and said, really? <laughs> I was like, really? Um, you're like 20 years old. Like, we're, okay. Hey, hey. Yes. So not that that should be a focus, but I found other ways to do things that I like. And I also have my nieces and nephews because I don't have any children and they come over and we've been doing rock painting. I had them create rocks. We did artwork. So I'm really also tapping into my creativity at this time. And y'all, I've been binge watching some TV shows. So That's things cute. that I love. Okay. I don't know about y'all, but I love like reality TV. So Married at First It Sight is like my show where these people like randomly marry each other and yeah. they go through this thing. Um, I'm loving those kind of shows. I'm watching um, Huntsville, Married in Huntsville. So I love reality shows. So I also have been doing a little binging on that which is therapeutic. You can learn something, y'all, from somebody <laughs> else's pain. Yes. I, mean, okay. I, have say that I, I definitely have been binge watching some TV and it's been fabulous. It's been grand. It has been grand. And I do have a question. Oh, go for it. I have a question. Uh -huh. How do you think that you um, helping your nieces and nephews and tapping into their creativity, but also tapping into your creativity has helped you to achieve your goals? You know, it's huge because I think sometimes you can be so business focused that you forget about that creativity and just having fun and sitting down there painting the rocks with my nieces and nephews and, you know, they had made a mess, but it was like taking you back to childhood and remembering like the things that you enjoy. Because one day I had to ask myself, girl, what are your hobbies? I know you work in, you know, I know you binge watching, but that's not a hobby. What do you love to do? And sometimes we get so busy that we forget to just live in the moment and enjoy and find something. And I found that I really loved just sitting there painting those rocks. It was therapeutic. It totally took my mind off of work and all of those other things. And it helped me to just have that moment of just, you know, like a Zen moment, just a relaxation moment to do something different, you know? And so that has been really big is just finding those hobbies and other things. It could be cooking. You know, sometimes I'm in there, I'm not the best cook, but I found that I love the feel of flour, like baking oh, something. Yes. You know, I don't know, there's something about the feel of flour and doing all of that. Very so cool. it's just a, yeah. So it's just a way to like decompress, you know, and just enjoy life and tapping into that. And when you do that, you come back more refreshed. You know, you come back ready. Because if you on the grind all the time and you're always going, 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 and you don't take those moments to just reconnect with yourself, then sometimes you can get burnt out. And I think that's what happened to me before when I said I took that four year hiatus. I was going so much that there was a point. I remember I was taping my show and there was a point that at the end of every season, my mind would literally go blank like literally for like a couple of months because I was so on and doing so much. And I remember going, oh my goodness, what is going on? But I think that my body was telling me and my mind, like we need a respite. We need to do something different. We can't be on 24 seven. And so that is something that I'm learning to do now. And even through the form of like my nieces and nephews and having them over for a weekend and we're making homemade pizzas and doing, you know, artwork on rocks, you know, just taking those times to pause and to reflect and to enjoy. So where can people find your podcast? What can they expect when they tune in and what time? No, yeah, so the, the podcast, that's what it is. Yeah, <laughs> so the podcast will be launching on September 29th and they can find it on anywhere they listen to their podcast. It could be Apple, Spotify. We're going to be launching it across all of the platforms and they can find, if you're a woman out there who knows that there's something more for you, if you are ready to own your own shine, that is what this show is. It's going to give you the inspiration you're going to hear from these women who've done it and been there. You're going to hear from coaches who are going to coach you from productivity to power in your paws to all of these different topics. And then I'm going to challenge you to take one step forward in your own journey every week. So this is a tribe of women coming together to own their shine, to walk on this journey together so that we all get there. Because I'm not just trying to get there for myself. I want to bring a tribe of women with me. And it will launch on Tuesdays. So every other Tuesday, you're getting a new episode. And so that's going to be really exciting for people to tune in wherever they want to listen and to get that dose of inspiration because my mama named me Joy for a reason, to bring joy to the world. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Wasn't that crazy? Y'all see how I did that ending like joy? Yes. I tried to be I, all I, dramatic. I, 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 you can tell that she is 
touching with this mm-hmm. right here. You, like I feel, I feel like maybe we should step up our game. Maybe one day. No. <laughs> yeah, so I'm, I'm very comfortable in my pajama style professional. <laughs> But you, you know, you guys just bring personality. And I think that's what we need nowadays. We need inspiration, we need fun, and we need people just being themselves. I bet when the camera is off, you two are exactly the same. Y'all run around teasing each other. Talk. It, 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 y'all probably have some moments that need to be recorded. You can probably have your own show. Your oh, own, not even, I mean, reality show, beyond just your talk show. I mean, reality show, could y'all imagine it? Could no, y'all I imagine? Not, because no. <laughs> it's, 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 Never, Never again. again. Well, I, I will try because I am Never sorry. Again. I am a sleepy person, y'all. It takes a lot for me to have all this energy, but when I bring it, I bring it. Mm-hmm. So, I would like to say right here, oh, I my know my normal narcissism question. Where did my invite go for the podcast? I, I know, girl. We're <laughs> gonna have to have you on there. <laughs> I have to have you guys sharing how you're all the great things that you're doing. See, you put them. I love that. See, that's another thing that I love. Women, you have to ask for what you want. You don't get anything by just sitting there, going after you, what you want and asking it for it. So now I'm gonna have to call you and be like, "Hey, girl, y'all ready? You ready? Okay, we're gonna get you on this season. We're born yeah. ready, right? I guess, right? For an interview. I guess for an interview. Ready. Well, no one's always ready. <laughs> okay, so I have a two-part question. I'm taking Winona spot right now. Uh, we need to know. Where your website is? Where can people check out your um, consulting, your She Shines Academy, and also what are the top two things that the advice that you would give women to to do as they're trying to break this glass ceiling and continue on? I mean, obviously one is to listen to the podcast, but I mean, right, right. <laughs> well, they can find me. It's easy. It's the Joy Sutton. My last name is spelled S U T T O N. They can find all about it. Link to the podcast. Details about what I offer my coaching and consulting services. But if I had to give a woman advice, if I had two words of wisdom, it's to thy own self be true and tap into what you really want to do. So many of us are in careers and doing things that we don't even love, that we don't even enjoy. So my advice would be, it's never too late to thy own self be true, tap into what you really want to do and believe it's possible to still go after it. You know, you don't have to be in your 20s or 30s or 40s, even 50s. I've seen women in their 50s and 60s doing the thing. It's never too late. So that would be my first, my first piece of advice. And then my second piece of advice would be to get a mentor. Don't try to do this alone. Let me tell you, sometimes a mentor or a coach or somebody to walk on this journey with you because a lot of times we think we can do it in and of ourselves, but it takes a tribe of women. When I tell you I have invested in coaches, I've invested in mentors, I've invested in surrounding myself with women who are going places and doing things because that is motivation. So make sure that you don't try to do this alone. Find support, find um, a tribe of women, find people who are going where you want to go and latch on for the ride. All right. Well, thank, thank you. you so much for coming on the uh, show. Today. I feel like she wrapped up. I know, right? And I, <laughs> absolutely do it. Um, you can uh, find everything your ladies are doing at www.andwethought.com. While you're there, take a moment. I mean, look on the homepage, right? Go down and see the other podcast that we have, right? Like For the, the ladies' sales. actors, reader, actual TV script. Like the ladies' sales, yeah. right? Okay. And then, but the more important thing, even more important than any of that, is to go to the ladies tab, go down to the middle. And yes, y'all, I've made them bigger so you can see it on the page. Down to the middle and see the charities that we probably support. Yes, we know that times are hard. So maybe you can't support them with money and that that's okay. Maybe you have some extra time on your hands and you can support them with that. But if you can't do that, that's fine. Why don't you just find them and send them a nice email or a tweet or a DM and say, thank you so much for doing the wonderful work that you do in the world because we all can use a little encouragement. I know and I can. Yeah. I can all the time. And just remember y'all, that wisdom is all around you. And you're open to finding it and accepting it. So peace and love, you guys. From Wilona and Jade. Bye-bye. Oh, thanks for listening.